Hey, Tai here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. And well, as I always say, if you can get to an event, let the event get to you, right? Actually, it's the first time I ever said it, but hey, uh, that's what Microsoft did, sending over their event in a Pelican case with an HoloLens 2, a HP Reverb G2, and a gaming laptop inside to be able to attend Ignite 2021 in person the first Microsoft Virtual Reality keynote to date, and to introduce Microsoft Mesh, the first mixed reality framework to create persistent holograms, avatars, words, etc. in XR, or as I like to call it, the Xbox Live of VR. What does it mean? Well, let's get into it. I can finally talk about it, but this period has been mind-blowing for me. A week ago, as I said, I received a big box from Microsoft, and I think I've never worn an asset as much as HoloLens do in my life. I mean, I'm still wearing it right now. <laughs> I've always been a believer of mixed reality. I even started a channel because of it. By the way, if you're not subscribed yet, that will mean the virtual world to me. But this event was really eye-opening. I roamed around my house for an entire week doing regular things, cooking, watching TV, working on my PC, all in an augmented reality world. And I experienced the next era of computing. By the way, let me show you in a second. All right, here we go. His name is Chowda. Hey, Chowda. But as much as I would like to talk to you about all of this, I'm gonna stick to the plan for this video and talk about the future envisioned by Microsoft for it and the tools that I created to actually achieve that future for all of us. This might not be the consumer ready AR headset that we want to see. Unfortunately, we're still far from it, but it's about creating and being able to create the environment we will then experience with it. You see, the first tolerance was kind of a proof of concept to put together ideas and creating the technology to unlock the next generation of computing. HoloLens 2 is to redefine this idea, making it better, more comfortable, usable, and starting to deploy in the real world to let developers understand and start to work on mixed reality applications. And today, Microsoft introduced in a completely virtual keynote, that, by the way, was absolutely mind-blowing with a holographic Alex Kipman completely rendered in 3D, the creator of HoloLens, by the way, Mesh, a framework that enables real-time sharing of holograms between Word, everything hooked to the cloud. It's a framework that everyone can use to implement in their application to have a common base where everything you will work on will be persistent in a different application as well, in a different device and all in real time. Because yes, this will work on every platform, VR, AR, PC, iPhone, Android, it doesn't really matter because it's all in the background. But what is it? Imagine to be able to jump between application and bring with you your avatar, your holograms, well, wherever you want, creating a persistent and coherent yourself in VR and AR. No matter where, you will always be you or the you that you choose to be. Like I am Tyre Wood on Xbox, on xCloud, on Windows, well, the same thing will be in VR and AR. That's why I like to call it the Xbox Live of VR. Well, let's be honest, it's not super precise. First of all, you pay for Xbox Live and here you don't. Uh, you have a chat on Xbox Live and here you don't, you actually speak to each other and pretty much everything else is different. But you get to the idea, mention something that is in the background that works for you. And the beauty of it is that as the best technologies in the past, if it works, it fades in the background and you don't need to think about it. You don't think about electricity when you turn on your PC, right? Well, that's exactly the same. Mixed reality is more complicated than what we think. Having an object in VR means that that position is to be calculated in space relative in not just to that one person, but also to the world and the other person and the word of the other person. And these rules have to be created all the time. What Mesh does is give this basis to all the applications implementing it so that developers can actually focus on their app and games instead of the boring stuff behind. So it's a win situation for them and a win-win situation for you that you can enjoy better games and apps because they have more time to work on them. So during the keynote we saw demos for um, Ocean X, Cirque du Soleil and yeah also Pokemon Go working on HoloLens thanks to Mesh and this is just the beginning also because quite frankly we don't have an AR device yet to actually use it at least not for the consumer market but the pipeline is ready, we just need the actual cozy house for it. The first example I had with Mesh was with the Mesh app last week. We actually had a meeting presenting the features here in my studio. We were around five people and yeah, they were all in here. 
I have to say that using AR instead of VR for these kind of meetings was amazing and completely unexpected. It created a more emotional, more present situation. I really felt like inviting someone over in my place. And the cool thing that I know that the other people felt exactly my same feeling because I actually was in their place at the same time. As you can see, we were using Allspace avatars, even if they then point me out that they were the mesh avatars now, because yes, from today, Allspace will be mesh, not like potatoes, but integrated with all the features of mesh, uh, like synchronized avatars, spatial and directional audio, that makes a big difference, by the way, and shared holograms. Like we saw in the keynote, there was the perfect demo for it. But going back, the cool thing about this demo was the fact that everything we were doing was happening in the cloud, in a persistent space. So that means that going back to the spot, I will find exactly the same messy situation we left and we could just keep going from it. Joining from PC VR, a HoloLens, a phone, it doesn't really matter because as we said, it lives in the cloud and not just on your devices. Being critical about the execution, to be honest, I would really love to see better avatars in the future. I really like it. Outspace avatar, but uh, you know, we saw like those Xbox avatars made in Unity that even Xbox never use it, and those will be mind blowing. But I see and understand the mission behind. You can see how this is just really the beginning. But this will already create a more personal virtual you, being able to be you in different applications. Maybe in the future, we will be able to uh, be a holographic ourselves, like uh, Alex was in the keynote. Or we can just get used to the Outspace avatars also in Pokemon Go. That's the other option. Right now, in this moment, I can jump between Mesh and Outspace and still be in the same avatar. And it's just a matter of time until some more apps will start to integrate Mesh. Hopefully. So hey, this is Mesh, the Xbox Live of VR. And I would like to thank Microsoft to give me the opportunity to try it here in the studio. And not in a Zoom meeting or sort, but the actual thing. And it's just amazing the commitment that they had uh, showed to give us the best experience possible. Hell, I'm even using their experience right now to make this video. And now I'm back playing with Dololens because it's absolutely amazing. And if you want to see more about it, Subscribe, so well, we're gonna see more of this thing in news to really understand what is the future of AR and VR. But that was all guys, I hope you watched the keynote in VR as well, because just showing pictures or videos is not the same thing. I hope they're gonna be able to just do a rerun of it in the future so people can see the entire world shifting and changing depending on what they were talking about with these holograms always in front of you uh, was really mind-blowing and that showed the future of a virtual keynote that is completely possible to make something super interesting when you are in VR not just watching to a screen but actually feeling inside you know the keynote with all the other people around and it was completely mind-blowing uh, I went there with very low expectation uh, I gotta be honest and uh, yeah, uh, I came out super excited indeed. Uh, this is not written now, by the way. But yeah, that was all guys, really. I am really interested to see what they can do with MASH in the future. I hope that more and more developers are gonna start to embrace it, if it's something good for them, of course. I'm not a developer, so I don't really know uh, how to implement it, stuff like that. But yeah, gonna leave in the link in the description below. So if you are one, well, uh, you can get informed and start to work on your things and stuff and uh, focus on them instead of uh, anchoring or rendering and stuff like that or avatars that all made directly from them. But yeah, I think that it's super interesting that are working in the background. I really would like to see some uh, consumer ready hardware, but yeah, we still have to wait for it and uh, pretty long. But yeah, for now is also, as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like this, like, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love this channel, there's a join button down there, little down further, also the Patreon with prior access to videos. Thanks again to all the patrons, of course. And at the same time, we have T-shirts, Sticker Mask 2021, item number one. Again, if you wanna see more about this amazing thing, uh, stay tuned on the channel, subscribe button down there. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.